Hello again everyone, it's me Johnny. I want to thank you for checking out my channel. And today we're going to talk about meditation and how crucial it is from, um, if you've been diagnosed with cancer and you're looking to heal from the inside out. Meditation plays a key role of what you focus on. I myself been diagnosed twice. Back in 2010 I was diagnosed with uh, papillary thyroid cancer and I went the conventional route. I got a little scar to prove, a little tattoo right here. I won't do that crap again. And the second time I got uh, diagnosed with cancer um, was uh, back in 2014. I was diagnosed with B cell intestinal non Hodgkin's lymphoma. And um, I decided to go um, the natural route. They said I was a possible stage four. The reason I say possible because I didn't stick around to find out if I was. I didn't want to get poked or prodded no more. I was just tired of the whole system and there's a whole story maybe one day I'll, I'll post a video of how everything happened because I had thyroid cancer and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at the same time so I was uh, I was I was sick and um, <clears throat> I um I decided when I um, they told me that I, I decided to change my diet um, uh, check out the relationships I had around me um, and learn that the mind okay is powerful the mind is is um, the way the Creator created us is um, awesome so awesome that medicine still hasn't figured it out yet you know so I'm for one and um, um, amazed at the power of the mind and that's one of the things that, the beauty of going all natural is for me you learn about self you know you learn about uh, you and it's like the creator just hit a reset button in my life and you, you examine everything and one of the things is your thoughts what's the song that you're playing over and over and over in your head about yourself you know and there's six billion people on the planet and I realized that someone's opinion of me <laughs> it doesn't define who I am and I choose to live my life to the fullest. I, I don't sit up there and um, uh, wait for the doctors or someone to tell me what they're going to do with me. No. I chose a different route and I'm thankful for it that uh, I've been proactive and uh, it's been a blessing. My last PET scan that I had um, uh, revealed that um, I have uh, one tumor left. It's um, about the size of a dime and uh, awesome an awesome journey um, but one of the key things that I did was um, found out how my uh, what I was focused on where my thoughts was what my thought life was you know and if you understand the Creator and how we created and you believe in the good book this is the good book you know for me you know um, the Bible teaches us that that uh, God is love so if God is love and we are created in the image and the likeness of God, okay, and I understand people teach that uh, we are created in the likeness and the image of Adam because Adam's fallen man. I'm not here to get into people's theology, but going back to it, if you're created in the image and the likeness of, of God, then all, you know, and God is love, all the trillions of cells or billions of cells, whatever it is that you have in your body, are all wired to love. You as an individual are wired to love. You're not wired to hate. You're not wired to fear. Those things are taught to you. But you are wired to love because you're made in the image and the likeness of the Creator. So, point being that if you're a cancer patient and you walk around and, you know, um, you don't want to walk around in hate. You don't want to walk around holding bitterness in your heart. You don't want to walk around uh, um, resentment um, and unforgiveness because every time you have a negative thought uh, your um, cells react a different way it's like your cells are flooded with different chemicals from your brain throughout your whole body and it affects your immune system and it affects every cell in your body because even though you know m my heart is made up of cells my liver is made up of cells my kidneys are made up of cells you know brain is made up of cells right but I'm all like made up of all cells. So what you think about and what you choose to meditate on, 
right? Um, every one of your cells has a reaction to it. And as a cancer patient, you, want, you don't want to be um, so stressed out and so bitter that uh, you just walk around all that, with all that negative energy that uh, you're putting fuel on the fire for cancer cells. Not only by what you eat, but what you meditate on too. All right, and that's something that I had to learn is like who I hang around with and what song was playing in my head every day. You know, what song was playing in my head every day. And I, even though I had to change the uh, um, the internal grounds in my stomach because I had B cell non Hodgkin's lymphoma, you know, B cell. Let me know if my my immune system was messed up. Intestinal lymphoma. So I had tumors in my lower intestine. You know, upper, uh, upper, the GI tract, it was all the way through. And um, uh, I had to clean the environment there. Not only there, by what I ate affects the cells, okay? But what I think about affects the cells, you know? And that choice is you because you're the one who can f uh, choose to focus on what you want to focus on. You know, like I said, that, you know, the um, or people, you know, like people I don't get along with. There's six billion people on the planet. Why am I going to worry like one person ruin my day? You know, just move on. Just leave it and just go. Because life is too precious. And that's one of the things I found out about going all natural. Um, is like the Creator just hit a reset button in me. You know, and for me, if, you, if you're a Christian, as myself, a believer, you know, um, you realize that, that, um, even uh, the Creator, how powerful the Word of God is. Even the Creator, when He told Joshua to take over the nation of Israel after Moses passed away, He says, uh, this book of instructions, the word law doesn't mean law like we think it is taught in most Christian churches. The word law there means instruction, means to guide, it means to point. Uh, the root word means to flow as, as, as uh, water, uh, to shoot an arrow, you know, to point into direction. So this book of instructions shall not depart out of the mouth that thou shalt meditate there day and night then that shall make that way prosperous. Okay, as a cancer patient, um, one of the things you can meditate on is, is scripture and keep the scripture before you. You can put it on your iPhone. I don't have my iPhone you know, here with me, but put the scriptures on your iPhone, record it. If you have family member, if you have kids and you want them to get involved in your healing process, so many times people eliminate the family. No, embrace the family because we're connected. Believe uh, it or not, there's more I can get into. The power of the Holy Spirit or your presence of, of, of who you really are. And when a family member comes up, that genuine love, and the love they feel for your kids or your grandkids or brothers and sisters, you get around them and, and, and it's a healing process. Get them involved in your juicing. Get the grandkids involved in reading scripture and recording it, meditating on that, letting them hear it over and over and over, keep it before you. One thing you can focus on, one thing that I focus on, this is what I choose to focus on. That's an N okay, that's what I choose to focus. Could you guys see that? That's an NK killer cell which is going on in your body, destroying a tumor. Those are the pictures that you want in your head. Uh, this is what's going on. When you see an NK killer cell destroying a tumor. And you can enhance that by giving it the proper nutrition, the proper meditation, as is your 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 body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Now I can get into you know, uh, a bunch of other things, but I'm, I'm going to keep it straight and simple. And I just wanted to share that with you guys today, that um, you're fearfully and wonderfully made, meaning that there's only one of you, okay? That scripture, when you, when you really break it down, it means that God's in awe of his creation, but he's also in awe of you. Because there's no one else before you and no one else after you that's just like you. When they created you, they broke them all. You were designed with a purpose, a plan. There's something that you're called to do. And let's say if you were called to be, if you want always to be a, an attorney, let's say for instance, but through circumstances in your life, you, uh, whatever happened, you ended up being a landscaper. And I'm not knocking landscapers or anything. But what I'm, what I'm trying to get to the point is, is that you'll make a miserable landscaper, but you'll make an awesome attorney vice versa you know for some reason if you're always messing around with plants and in a garden and and um, 
you know, loved tractors or loved uh, being around animals. And then you went and for some reason you ended up in law school and became a lawyer for some reason. Okay, but you always loved, you know, planning things and, and uh, you know, doing whatever it is. And you always dreamed about becoming a farmer, let's say. You'll make a miserable attorney, but you'd make an awesome farmer. You got to find out the giftings, even with even cancer. Someone dealing with cancer, like myself, I tapped into some of my things that um, I uh, let go and um, found out how miserable I was. So I reconnected with those things, and it's been a blessing ever since because you're fulfilling your purpose, you're fulfilling a plan, you're fulfilling design. I was only designed to do one thing. Well, uh, uh, well, not one thing, but I'm really passionate about certain things, and those are the things that I fill my day up with. You know, besides going to work, um, I love doing things. You know, my what I'm passionate about, and what you're passionate about. You know, when you find that thing that you're passionate about, man, you'll find out the healing process because you're healing spirit, soul, and body. And I just wanted to share that thing with you guys today. God bless and take care.